hey everyone welcome to part 25 of my pokemon game series in unity so in this video we'll implement move priorities so if i use a move like quick attack then i should get the first turn even if the enemy has higher speed so we'll try to implement that and also we'll fix some of the issues that we currently have in the battle system special thanks to all my patreons for making this series possible by becoming a patreon you can support me in the making of the series and get some cool rewards like access to the complete project files of the series so let's start the video okay so right now to check which pokemon goes first we are only checking the speed of the pokemon right so let's also add more priorities so inside my move base class i'll create a variable called priority and let me also create a property for it. So now in our battle system, to check which Pokemon goes first, first we need to check the move priority. And if the move priority is same, then we'll check the speed of the Pokemon, right? So initially I'll set player goes first to true. And let me actually store the move priorities in a variable so that it's easy to check. Okay, and let me also store the enemy move priority. Alright, so initially I'll set player goes first to true. And then if the enemy move priority is greater than the player move priority then i'll set player goes first to false all right so by default it's true and if the priority of the enemy move is greater than that of the player move then we'll set player goes to false and enemy will get the first move and otherwise if both the priorities are equal Then we should use the speed of the Pokemon to determine who goes first, right? So let me just copy this line and paste it here. Okay. So basically, first we'll check the move priority, and only if the move priorities are same, then we'll check the speed of the Pokemon, right? So let's go to Unity and try testing this. So most of the moves have a priority of zero. And there are only a few moves that have a positive or negative priorities. So let's try creating a move like quick attack. So I'll actually just duplicate a move like tackle and rename it to quick attack. Okay, so everything else is same, but the only difference is for quick attack the priority is actually one right so let me assign this to some pokemon so i'll assign it to pidgey okay and in my player party i'll make pidgey the first pokemon just to make it easy to test and let's say it, its level is eight all right so now for the enemy pokemon let's choose some pokemon that has higher speed than pidgey right so pidgey speed is 56 and let's choose a pokemon like butterfree whose speed is 70 so let me just make butterfree the enemy pokemon and i'll set the level to 8 which is same as that of pidgey all right so let's test this so let me start a battle okay so since butterfree has higher speed if i use a normal move like tackle then butterfree will get the first move right but if i use a move like quick attack i'll get the first move because even though butterfree has more speed quick attack has more priority right so let's try using quick attack so yeah you can see that pidgey got the first move And if I use a move like Tackle, then Butterfree should get the first move. 
right? So more priorities are working just like we wanted. Okay, so next let's fix some of the bugs that we currently have. So inside our Pokemon class, to calculate the max HP, currently I'm using the base speed, right? So let's change that to base dot max HP. Okay, so this was something I recently found. So next let's fix another issue. So right now we'll be able to perform a move even if the PP of the move is zero. Let's actually test that. So let me just change the PP of tackle to something small like one. And if I test the game. All right, so you can see tackle PP is one. All right, so now first time I should be able to perform the move. So now it's PP is zero and I should not be able to perform the move, right? But if I select tackle, you can see that I'll still be able to perform the move. So that's an issue that we need to fix. So inside our handle move selection, When I select a move by pressing Z, I should only run all this code if the PP of the move is greater than zero, right? So first I'll get a reference to the move. And then if move.pp is equal to zero, then I'll just return and we won't execute any of these, right? So we also need to show some kind of feedback to the user indicating that our PP is zero. So what I'll do is inside the update move selection function, while setting the PP text, I'll also set the color of the text to red if the PP is zero. So I'll say if move.pp equal to zero, then I'll set the color of the PP text to red. And otherwise, I'll just set the color to black. Right? So that should be enough. So let's actually test this. So right now, tackle has one PP. So its color is actually black. So let me use it once. All right, so now you can see that tackle has zero PP and its color has changed to red. And if I try to press Z, then I won't be able to perform tackle, right? But if I choose another attack, I should be able to perform that. So one more thing that we can do is we can actually prevent the enemy from performing a move that doesn't have PP. So inside my Pokemon script, in the get random move function, first I'll get a list of moves that actually has some PP. So for that I can say moves dot where okay I'll have to you import link in order to use where and for the condition I'll say pp greater than zero all right so I'll convert this into a list so this variable will contain the list of moves of the Pokemon that actually has some pp. So now instead of selecting a random move from the most list, I'll select a random move from this list. So let me replace moves with moves with pp. Alright, so that's it. And now the enemy won't be able to perform moves that doesn't have pp. So one thing to note here is that if the enemy doesn't have any move with pp, then this list will be empty and we'll get a null reference error. So always make sure that the enemy has at least one move with a lot of PP to make sure this doesn't happen. You can go ahead and test this out to see if this works. So I'll stop the video here. If you think this video is helpful, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. That will really help me a lot. So I'll see you in the next video.